हेलो फ्रेंड्स दिस इज जयंत रोहनकर वर्किंग एज असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ इंफॉर्मेशन टेक्नोलॉजी तुलसी राम जी गायकवाड़ पटेल कॉलेज ऑफ इंजीनियरिंग एंड टेक्नोलॉजी फ्रेंड्स टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ डेटा वेयर हाउस एंड दिस इज अबाउट द टॉपिक ऑफ सब्जेक्ट डेटा वेयर हाउसिंग एंड माइनिंग हियर इन दिस इंट्रोडक्शन ऑफ डेटा वेयर हाउस वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न अबाउट द एक्जैक्ट डेफिनेशन ऑफ डेटा वेयर हाउस विच इज डिफाइन बाय द डब्ल्यू एच इन मोन who is called as the father of data warehousing and mining and we will see the different parameters of data warehouse which are very effective and which define the data warehouse as a data warehouse so we are going to start our lecture so these are the contents which we are going to learn that is what is data warehouse means subject oriented and integrated then time variant and non volatile these are various parameters which define the data warehouse it is as a data warehouse so we will start our lecture with the definition of data warehouse so data warehouse is defined by so many ways but i included here uh, two different definitions of data warehouse so define in many different ways but not rigorously so a decision support database that is maintained separately from the organization's operational database support information processing by providing a solid platform of consolidated historical data for analysis so actually the data warehouse is used for maintaining or for doing the analysis and it is maintained separately than the operational database of the organization so this is what the meaning of data warehouse but the exact definition which is defined by wh imon the data warehouse is nothing but a data warehouse is a subject oriented integrated time variant and non volatile collection of data in support of management's decision making process so this is what the definition exact definition of data warehouse which is defined by wh imon so subject oriented integrated and time variant and non volatile these are the parameter which define the data warehouse completely it includes all the meaning and the data warehouse data warehouse is called a data warehouse is given by this four parameter that is subject oriented integrated time variant and non volatile so let's uh, one by one we will see what is mean by subject oriented what is mean by integrated time variant and non volatile so subject oriented means organization around major subject such as customer product and sales so each and every organization related to which we want to design the data warehouse is surrounded by uh, some subjects like uh, here examples are given customer product and sales so we can uh, collect the data from any of the subject and we can transfer it to the uh, data warehouse for uh, doing for the process and for doing the analysis on the data to get some sort of results so focusing on the modeling and analysis of data for decision makers do not daily operations or transaction processing it provides a simple and concise view around a particular subject issues by excluding data that are not useful in the decision support process so subject oriented is is very important when we are talking about the data warehouse because we need to collect the data regarding some particular subjects and accordingly that data will be shifted or transferred to the data warehouse and we will do processing on that uh, data which is stored in the data warehouse then integrated what is the meaning of integrated so data should be integrated and it is what the quality of data warehouse to integrate the data from various sources so constructed by integrating multiple heterogeneous data sources like relational databases flat files online transaction record anything means from any sources we can collect the data for transferring into the data warehouse we have to do some sort of cleaning process so data cleaning and data integration techniques are applied on that uh, data ensure uh, consistency in naming conventions uh, encoding structures attribute measures etc on different data sources for example hotel price 
uh, it should be calculated in currency or it will be mentioned or represented in the form of currency so uh, it is in proper structure then tax breakfast cover etc are the example of the data training and uh, integrated uh, part of data warehouse when data is moved to the data warehouse it will be converted it will be totally converted it will not be the raw data which is available in the operational database so we need to transfer it pure data into the data warehouse when it will be shipped or it will be transferred to the data warehouse then that data will be totally converted which is compatible to the data warehouse server then what is the meaning of time variant a variant in the data warehouse time horizon of the data warehouse is significantly longer than that of the operational system operational database that is current value database we can say so these databases cannot give us the analytical data analytical decisions whenever any organization required it but data warehouse data provide information from a historical perspective like past 5 years 10 years and more than that also every key structure in the data warehouse contain an element of time explicitly or implicitly but the key of operational data may or may not certain time element so this is all about the time variant all the data which is collected in the data warehouse it is work from uh, it is collected from last previous some years like five years ten, 10 years or more than that also and we call it as the historical data by referring that historical data we will uh, compare it with the current situation and we can do the analysis by using the current situation and the previous or historical data then we will get the results as according to the requirement as according to the questions so that is time variant is very important part of the data warehouse then what is meaning of non volatile in the data warehouse a physically separate store of the data transfer from operational environment operational update of the data does not occur in the data warehouse environment does not require transaction processing recovery and concurrency control mechanism require only two operations in the data accessing that is initially loading of data and access of data we cannot change the data when it will be transferred from other sources into the data warehouse that's why it is called a non-volatile it is not possible to do some sort of modification some sort of changes in the database in the data which is stored in the data warehouse that's why it is non-volatile like the operational database so this is all about non-volatile and is all about the proper definition and the parameter which are used to define the data warehouse so this is all about the introduction of the data warehouse thank you thank you very much